Welcome to the fourth and final episode in our Cunard Queen Elizabeth cruise vlogs. You know, we are having an amazing time. In fact, it's we've just got up, it's day four, and we don't want to get off, do we? No. I know, because we came in last night, and this was our... We've got in to come into this, these stupid things. Yeah. So we're going to head out. We've got to finish our ship tour, because every time we go out to do the ship tour, we get... Um, and you're saying we here? We get, what's the word? We get waylaid. You get waylaid. Yeah, because our friends are on there. He likes Bloody Marys too. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. So our ship tour at the minute is about eight <laughs> seconds long and it's of the bar. <laughs> yes. So, um, so yes. So let's see what today brings. For those of you who are not familiar with the Cunard line, here's a little bit of information. There are currently three vessels in the Cunard fleet with another one coming very soon. If you've enjoyed our Cunard vlog series, make sure you subscribe, as we will be joining the Queen Mary 2 very soon with a vlog series to follow. After enjoying another hearty breakfast in the Lido restaurant, we continued with our ship tour. Behind the Lido restaurant at the after the ship, you'll find the Lido pool grill. The pool grill is open from 12 until 5, weather permitting, and serves burgers, hot dogs, fries, and every day there's a chef special. Above the Lido pool grill is deck 10. Let's take you for a quick soggy wander around. Right at the front of the ship on deck 10 you'll find the Commodore Club. The Commodore Club is open from 10am until 1am and it's the perfect spot for a rainy day sail away. The entrance to the Commodore Club is adorned with ceremonial plaques. Each of these plaques signify the inaugural cruise to that particular port. And as you can see, this ship has been to a lot of ports. Pre-dinner entertainment starts in the Commodore Club from 5pm and goes on until late. Also on deck 10 you'll find Churchill's Cigar Lounge. Oh Churchill related stuff because he did like a, a puff didn't he? But know. also... I don't know if this is only for smoking cigars or not. Like yes I think it is just for smoking cigars and you've got a selection here which you can buy from $39 down to 12. So the cheapest cigars are a Black Mary. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. Well, they're always kept at a yeah, specific I, I temperature. Called, um, I'm going to guess now. Uh, I think it's called, a, is it a humidor or something? Oh, is it? Yeah, something along those lines. I'm sure some of you will crack me when they... But it seems to be the most expensive one. It's a Winston Churchill Traveller by the looks at $46. Oh, no, I think that's for a packet though. Oh. But I think the individual ones are 39 is the, is the oh. dearest. The late hour. So there you are. So if you like a cigar and you like a this, <laughs> you like a that. <laughs> ah. What are you talking about? <laughs> and here's the Admiral's Lounge, which is another little meeting area. Here. Just a nice quiet here if you just want to sit and read. 
With our Deck 10 tour pretty much wrapped up, we headed off to the Golden Lion Pub for a late lunch. The Golden Lion Pub serves lunch from midday to 2.30 p.m. Right, so we've come in the pub because we've heard the food is excellent, haven't we, Paul? So we, Paul and I have got Plowmans. Look at this. Look at what they done with a cucumber. Woo and then Paulie wanted extra chips. So they're there. And our friends, Deb and Steve, have got fish and chips. Look. Deb hasn't got mushy peas, but Steve has. So we will let you know what it's like, but it smells good, doesn't it? Mm. And this is all included. This doesn't cost extra. They say that all good things must come to an end. And just as I was enjoying myself in the pub, Carol made me go shopping. There are a good selection of shops over deck 2 and 3, and don't worry if you forgot your essentials, because Cunard's got you covered. And if souvenirs are your thing, you'll be spoilt for choice. Towards the centre of the ship you'll find the beautiful Grand Lobby. This is spread over three decks, one, two and three. The centrepiece on deck one of the Grand Lobby is a beautiful floral display. This changes on a fairly regular basis as when we boarded it was a beautiful peacock. Deck one of the Grand Lobby is also the home to guest services, the purser's office and the excursion desk. Outside the purser's office is also the most comprehensive map. This details where everything is on the ship. So a good tip would be, take a photo of this on your phone, and then you'll never get lost on the ship again. On deck two of the Grand Lobby, you'll find the speciality steakhouse, the Veranda. There's a cover charge of $25 for lunch, and $45 for dinner. After more touring of the ship, we headed to the garden lounge to give the bingo one last shot, but unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Before we knew it, it was time to get ready for the evening's entertainment in the Queen's Room. We got there nice and early to get our favourite seats, and to kill a bit of time, we had a crib championship. It was boys against girls, and the tournament ended all square. We've been asked a lot of questions about what you have to wear on a Cunard cruise. So we've put this comprehensive post together and the link to this is in the description below. Right then, so let's tell you all about our last night on board the Queen Elizabeth. Right then. Let's talk to you about last night. Our last night on board Cunard Queen Victoria. Why do I just keep saying Victoria? Elizabeth. Um, I mean, Elizabeth. I'm assuming that you keep saying the wrong ship because you're a silly billy, I'm going to say. <laughs> yes. But anyway, last night, well, wasn't it's it a bit spectacular? The, it's probably one of the best last nights on a cruise ever, I think. It was just, it was, it was just so good. And I don't know if it was the big band because there wasn't enough to be a big band, but it was close. There was a fair few of them, but just doing all Motown, Soul. <laughs> Just yeah. all dance fillers. I've never seen so many people on a dance floor on a cruise ship. The whole Queen's room was full, wasn't it? Yeah. It was bananas. It was. Even we got up to Yeah, dance. we did. It was yeah. brilliant. We were sat in our preferred chair, chairs that you'd have seen before by the side of the band and just watching them. It was joyful, wasn't it, Paul? It was. It was absolutely brilliant. So if you love big band music, you love watching brass sections, excellent singers, um, then Cunard is 
fabulous, isn't it? And it's not, when we say if you love big band, it's a big band doing modern, modern, well, all sorts. modern great songs yeah, last night. It, it, was, it was brilliant. It was just so lovely to see everyone up dancing because we haven't been able to do that up till now, have for we really? For such a long time. No, so um, yeah. So the planned early night, sensible last night, let's go to bed early. <laughs> we'll hit the window again. It was the latest night of a lot, wasn't it? Well, I think so. Yeah. So anyway, we're a little jaded this morning, so we're, we're just up. Um, they're doing breakfast in the Britannia restaurant, so we're going to go ahead down there and hopefully disembarkation won't be a problem. Um, and we'll let you know if it is. It won't be. No, it should be fine. Our bills are all paid and stuff, so we've yeah. checked on their app. The app actually with QNAD has been very hit and miss, hasn't it? Sometimes it'll load, sometimes it won't, but actually it's been okay. But it has been accurate. I it has say. been accurate. Yeah. There's been nothing false on our, our bill, which is the first time ever, I think. Yeah, no, it's good. So, yeah, so let's go get some breakfast. Right, so we're off. No problems with disembarkation. Um, everything on the app was correct, wasn't it, Paulie? They let us off, which um, if you've seen our previous vlogs, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had a fab time. Um, going home for some sleep, I think, innit? And to just chill out. Yes. But we had a great time with our friends, Deb and Steve. Hi. <laughs> um, we're already planning the next one, aren't we? So, uh, yeah. so there we are. So Cunard, it's been fun, hasn't it? After a, a bit of a frosty start, we've had a fabulous time. Yes. So um, thanks ever so much. Yeah, what she said. Thanks, yeah. uh, thanks ever so much for watching. <laughs> yes, and uh, we've got lots of other cruising content. So why not watch one of these videos now?